Now, I'm not trying to get involved in organized crime, but... Somebody shot up a house, or a drive-by, or something? No, no, shot up inside of a house. We had a, they called it a home invasion. It was a drug dealer living in the house. Yeah. Three guys came in. Um, two guys left. Two guys yes. left. No, literally. I know of investors that have lost everything. Oh my gosh! Holy freaking crap! I am in the wrong name. So this is a pretty fun video, guys. Um, once again, we had Matt Cox come to town, except this time he was sponsored by Home Title Lock to come here to Ohio, a company that helps people not lose their house to the same kind of finance scam that Matt was doing back in the day, having committed between $55 million and $100 million in fraud. Even during the production of this video, there was some controversy over to the exact amount. I am slowly boosting the economy of Southern Ohio through Airbnb rentals. If you don't who Matt Cox is. He is the guy that committed over $55 million in mortgage fraud. And as life would has it, he now is helping prevent the thing that he did. Today's video sponsor, Home Title Lock, is giving investment joy watchers the opportunity to get a free Home Title Lock policy. So be sure to check out HomeTitleLock.com slash InvestmentJoy and be sure to use the promo code InvestJoy to show your support. He's been to trial twice, three Ponzi schemes, and roped in Donovan. So he managed to get his trip paid by home title lock. As fate would have it, both Newt Gingrich and Mac have even appeared on the same shows together. The nice thing about having your credit card stolen is that the moment you notice it's stolen, there are federal laws that force the bank to reverse the charges. But there's no protection if I take your house. So the neat thing here is we're getting paid to steal a house, which is kind of neat. And I'm able to take the sponsor money and use it for the house giveaway this year. Oh, okay, so like the, the first thing I would do okay. is I would find a house for sale. So in order to do this video, I had to ask some investor friends for keys to their vacant properties, which was a lot easier than I thought. So let's say this, yeah. this house is for And this one realistically can be either for rent or for sale. Right, exactly. So, which is the easiest to understand is that, you know, obviously I've got an ID, I, I've, okay. I've stolen a homeless person's ID, ID or I've made a fabricated some kind of synthetic identity. I've, go, I've gone online and I would go online to like a, a Russian web, one of these Russian web, websites okay. and I would get them to give me an ID from the state of Florida or California, wherever. They come okay. with holograms, they're about 300 bucks. So to be clear, Matt did not get a fake ID, but he could probably get one if it would not violate his parole with the federal government. I meet the real, I re meet the, either the real estate agent or the owner of the house. Okay. In this case, you're the owner of the house. Sure. So you're the owner of the house and I rent the house from you. Okay. So, you know, this is the house, right? right. Yeah. Uh, we meet, we meet outside the house. Um, I walk in the house, you know, I walk through the rooms, I come back, I say, yeah, wow, it sounds great. And you say, hey, you say, hey, can you fill out an application? Sure, no problem. I fill out the application. Mm -hmm. You pull it. Even if I have bad credit, it doesn't matter yeah. that I have bad credit because I'll just say, look, can I give you double the security deposit yeah. or whatever the instance? Yeah, the money, money, money talks, and you know the right. landlord person selling it, they want to hear that some you've got some money. I rent the house. Okay. Now I've got possession of the house. Do you want to go inside? Yeah, let's go inside. All right. This house. Right. So normally in this scam, Matt would have to rent a house, but. For the purpose of the video, I got one just given to us for an hour, which would allow somebody like him to participate in the scam with almost no money out of pocket, which is insane. I rented, so I rented the house, I walked through the house, I get the electric turned on, whatever the case may be. He's seen my driver's license. I'm gonna get possession of the house. So once I have possession of the house, I then turn around and I go down to public records. When I'm at public records, I go in and I search and most of this is done online. Like when I did it, I used to have to go down to public records. I have to physically go down. But you can go online. You can go online now, and I find the the warranty deed for this house mm -hmm. in Brandon's name. Yeah. I then create my own warranty deed. And I transfer the warranty deed out of his name into John Doe's name. I then see if there's any liens on his house. For instance, like a, a mortgage from the bank. I then create a satisfaction of lien from that bank. 
saying they've satisfied their own loan. I then take those documents and I go back downtown or I scan them and I send them in, mail them in or uh, um, email them in. And let's say I go downtown, for instance, and I pay the 10 or 12 or $20 to record those yeah. documents. And they essentially satisfy the lien on his house and transfer the, the title to his house into John Doe's name. I now own this house. I have an ID. I can get a bank account. So I go and I get I can go and get I can get about three bank accounts before the banks start going something's wrong. So I typically would go out and get two or three bank accounts in that ID's name, and then get two or three bank accounts in another ID's name. Regardless, I've now got the accounts, I've got the house in my name, and then what I do is I turn around and I start calling hard money lenders in the area that will come by the house and look at the house. So the way this scam works is you transfer a property out of somebody else's name into a fictitious name that you control, which is what Mac Cox did to rack up that $55 million in fraudulent transfers. The fraudster, in this case would be Matt, then goes and gets a bunch of asset-based lenders who lend a lot of money just based on the quality of the property. Good for me, I know one of those locally. So we called my buddy Sean and asked how much money would he give us. So Matt, this is my buddy Sean. This hey, is, this we is Sean. actually did. I know I recognize you. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going. I I saw you at the uh, the, the office. office next to yeah, the house. We met him at the office. Okay. Yeah. Last time I was here. Yeah, you guys were at the office yeah. for a little while. Yeah, you yeah. took us here cool. three months ago or something. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Dude. You're the expert. 165, 170. Oh, okay. Nice. I like oh, seeing. So I like good. his. I like his value better. You like you better than yours. Okay. The bedroom right there just hit the market yesterday for 138. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, holy freaking crap. Cool, I am in the wrong neighborhood. So you would live in the Yeah, sure. I just, these houses are a lot nicer than what I'm dealing with. Yeah. But like we just heard, there's that one bedroom house right down the street going for 139. So if a hard money lender comes into a place like this yeah, it's not and they not see not that. Perfect, it's the the guy that's trying to get the loan on it's asking for he thinks it's worth 165 yeah you've got a much smaller crappier house down the street that's currently listed for 140 you know they they might be thinking in their back of their mind well i thought i i'm hoping to get 65 percent ltv out of this but really it might be like 50 percent. this is so much nicer than my trailers <laughs> yeah it's been, been spending a lot of time in the trailer hood lately huh I have, yeah, not, I, see. I have not seen a single bullet hole in this place. I feel very uncomfortable. By the way, we got the shooting house finished today. You did? Yep. Good. So we shot up a house? Or a drive-by or something? No, no, we shot up inside of a house. We had a, they called it a home invasion. It was a drug dealer living in the house. Yeah. And they came to get their money. Of course. And yeah. three guys came in. Um, two guys left. Two guys yes. left. No, literally. Yeah. Five people in the house. Nobody got hurt in the house. Two out of three of the ones that showed up. You know, kicked in the door at five in the morning yeah. and started shooting. Yeah. One, got, one left bleeding, the other one died in the, in the driveway. Yeah. So at this point, um, it's time to let Sean in on the secret that um, this whole deal is totally fraudulent. And Matt kind of breaks down the scam to him because Sean really is interested on in how the scam works. Yeah, so that's that's what they it's It's like 15 bucks a month. And, okay. and so what happens is I do commercials for them. Okay. And commercials, infomercials, that sort of thing. Great. And I do guest spots where I, I'll call in to uh, different radio shows or podcasts and they interview me for like 10 or 15 minutes. Because a lot of people, it's like, you know what credit card fraud is, but you don't know, even though it happens where people's houses and deeds get stolen and things like that, it doesn't get reported. It's too complicated. So it happens and then people are like, no, this is what happened. And mm -hmm. It doesn't get any media attention, and they don't know what to do because they, they're completely unaware of it. And they, they may have even seen the signs, right. and they don't know what's happening. And it's, such, and it's such a joke. So I do commercials where I kind of explain this is the process, this is what happened, and it's this easy to do. A few years ago, I was offered to purchase a property adjacent to this one on the hill overlooking the entire town just with one issue. The guy that was selling me the property didn't legally own it. Um, for better or worse, there had been what amounted to an illegal title flip in the past 20 years on the property, and I could buy the property for next to nothing if I would take on the responsibility of fixing that huge title problem. So here's my direct appeal to you, and there's freebies in it for all the investment joy watchers out there. 
A lot of people don't realize that title insurance does not cover this kind of home title fraud. Home Title Lock is a company that monitors your home's title 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so people like Matt can't use your information to steal your own property. They're giving the first five Investment Joy watchers a month free of their Home Title Lock service. Don't be a victim of title fraud and make sure that you look at what they have to offer. Sadly, home title fraud can result in tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees to fix. And they've got a full 60-day money-back policy. That gives me a lot of faith in this company. And make sure that you've liked the video and subscribed because there's going to be more Matt Cox content coming up here soon. He spent quite a bit of time at the laundromat and we shot quite a few videos, including this one while he was out. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.